So yesterday, uh, Pamela Horton, the woman that alleged uh, that Pro Jared uh, leaked out her nudes to a group of friends and was disrespectful to her, she actually made a video yesterday explaining all this, and I highly recommend you go check it out. Uh, I wanted to make a video about this just to give my thoughts on all this. And this will probably be my last video uh, discussing the whole pro-Jared thing. Because we all know now that Jared is innocent. And there's really no point in making any more videos. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, I'm going to read the description of her video here. Uh, TLDR. I talked to Jared and other parties involved in regards to the topics of my tweet. The instances of code slash disrespect will be... be, be ah. Instances of code slash disrespectful behavior from Jared were clarified and Jared and I worked out and apologized for any miscommunications in those interactions. As for the event where allegedly my images were shared with individuals, there are too many conflicting accounts for me to know whether or not to believe it. Since I wasn't present, I shouldn't have tweeted about it. Whether or not it happened doesn't really matter. It's hearsay as I wasn't there. This is the only time I will comment or speak about the ordeal for the foreseeable future. Thank you so much for being so incredibly respectful and patient. So, I gotta give props and kudos to Pamela Horton for coming out with this video. I highly recommend you check it out. Links in the description. Uh, this is just a very misfortunate, you know, ordeal. And it's really hard for both parties, you know, pro Jared and, you know, Pamela, who is having a hard time believing that Jared would do anything like this. And honestly, I wouldn't see that, you know, either. You know, it's it's hard for me to believe if he did or not either, because like she said, it's all hearsay. And, and that's the problem. That's the problem. People tend to believe what a person says rather than looking into it themselves and coming up with their own conclusion. And it's unfortunate that we live in that type of culture, the whole cancel culture. That's why it's a big problem. But I'm, I'm glad that people like Pamela, you know, has, you know, came out and basically addressed this. In such a good way. And, and she even gave Jared the chance to explain himself. So, I give kudos to her. Because that takes a lot. It takes a lot of energy. And it takes a lot of courage to admit that maybe you were wrong about this. Maybe the events didn't happen the way you thought it did. But, you know... You also have some people out there that still believe that Jared is in the wrong here. People like H3H3. And yeah, he's a guy that will never admit that he was wrong. As we proven last night in the live stream. But I, I just have to say, you know, Pamela, you, you have my respect. And you know what? I'm going to give you a subscribe because she actually makes some pretty cool videos I'm, I'm actually um i'm actually gonna check out her channel some more and watch some of her uh let's play videos uh but yeah she's she's a really talented cosplayer she's really hot and you know she she deserves all the love right now and i highly recommend you guys to you know go check her out but <laughs> nevertheless uh, I think we can lay this to rest now that all this information has come out. Jared, his career is going to get back to normal. He's going to start making more videos, hopefully. And we could just all look back at this period and have a good laugh. There's nothing wrong with making fun of someone. But... When you don't give that person the chance to grow and don't listen to their side, it just goes to show you that 
you are all for you know you're all for the the bullying tactic which to me that's what it comes off as it comes off as being a bully when you don't listen to what the other person has to say but nevertheless um that that's going to do it for this video uh be sure to subscribe to the channel and also follow me on twitter at canvas pirates also i should mention this i will be doing another live stream later uh me and j man dual blade the dual blade we are actually going to be going over the uh, vic mignana uh response to the tcpa that ty beard uh filed yesterday so that's going to be some pretty interesting stuff to check out later tonight uh but hopefully you all um tune in for that and hopefully we have some fun and laughs along the way anyways this has been pc and you all have a fantastic day stay awesome